Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review and short tutorial of a fantastic video repurposing tool called Munch. This is probably the most powerful video repurposing tool that I have come across, and I'm going to show you why. You can use this to repurpose your own content if you are a podcaster, or you can also use this to repurpose other people's podcasts if you want to start a fan page on social media, or if you want to grow your YouTube, your TikTok, your Twitter, which is now X, or any platform by making dozens of pieces of content with just a few clicks that you can upload to your social media and build it. So you may have seen accounts across TikTok or YouTube Shorts or any social media platform that are just clips of other people's podcasts with writing on them. This account here has 3.1 million followers. They are most likely making money from this TikTok account with the creativity program beta, which will give them $1 per thousand views. So if we look at a recent video that they have uploaded, so this one has 732,000 views, they are most likely made around 700 US dollars for that one clip. So there are a number of tools used to create these clips, and I think Munch is actually the best one out of them all. Now with a clip repurposing tool, you can easily make seven to 10 clips a day and grow a social media account in no time at all. And you don't just have to have them on one platform. You can simultaneously grow a Twitter, a YouTube Shorts channel, a TikTok, an Instagram, and a Pinterest, all with the same bits of content. And you can use something like Repurpose.io where you just post once on TikTok and it pushes it out automatically to all the other platforms. Just quickly before we look at this tool, if you would like to try Munch for free, I have left a special link in the description of this video and the pinned comment. You can get started totally for free, but if you would like to try one of the paid plans during the month of November in 2023, make sure to use the code BF30 and you will get 30% off any of the plans. So once you sign up for the free trial, or if you have a paid plan of Munch, this is what the back end will look like. So what we need first is a long form video that we're going to turn into some clips. I found this podcast on a YouTuber that I like. So all you're going to do is grab the URL of the YouTube video that you want to clip. Then under my projects, we're just going to hit this plus button. So now it's going to ask which platforms you are going to be posting this too. So I'm going to select for this one, YouTube Shorts and TikTok. And all we do is we pop the link to that YouTube video right here. Then I hit next. So this is a great feature with Munch that I haven't seen on the other platforms. They let you pick the style of your subtitles before it creates the clips. So I see a lot of these clip channels using the green and the yellow. So I'm actually going to go with the red. I just need to give a name to this project. I'm going to use the title of the YouTube video as the name for this project. I'm going to select a description for the source video. I'm going to say that this is an interview. And then you can select the optimal clip length. So the clip length really defines where you're going to be posting it and for what reason. Because if you are trying to make money from the TikTok creativity program with this, it has to be more than one minute long. Only videos more than one minute long will actually qualify for that program. Whereas YouTube Shorts cannot be more than one minute long. But if you don't really care at this point how long your videos are going to be, just select I Trust Munch. When I hit Munch it, it's going to then process that video and create a bunch of clips. Typically, depending on the length of the video, it can take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes up to an hour long. So this is when I'm going to pause the video, go grab a cup of coffee, and I'll join back with you when my clips are ready. I just got an email saying my clips were ready and I've come back to Munch and this is what they've given me. So it analyzes the video and it gives you a bunch of keywords that it's actually pulled out of the video to give you some ideas for your YouTube keywords. And so that's handy. It also shows you some trending keywords that you can use. And down here, these are all the clips that uh, Munch has made from that one video, which was about half an hour long. So let's have a look at this one here. But I think one of the things I admire most about you, Peter, is that 
your turning point came when you only had 55 cents of AdSense revenue. Yeah. And, you know, in talking to a lot of creators, I, that. I was talking to Graham Stephanie, like, yeah, I, I became a full time creator when I had $1 million. <laughs> Mm. And I was like, what? <laughs> like wow. So you can see that Munch is using AI to tell which person is talking. So the original video was not a vertical. It was a horizontal. And there are many shots where there are both people talking at the same time. So the AI detects which person is talking and it will actually zoom the camera over to them and create these cool effects. That way you get a really original clip that is different from all the other clips. And in my experience, it's never triggered any of the copyright mechanisms in places like YouTube Shorts and TikTok. So this is a great piece of content ready to upload. And another great thing that Munch does that I haven't seen on the other platforms is they give you a suggested description, which takes a lot of the work out of posting this. Now, the reason why it hasn't given a YouTube Shorts description is this particular video is over a minute long. But if I go into one that is under a minute long, it, it has now given me a suggested title for my YouTube short. So let's say I wanted to grab this video here about becoming a full-time YouTuber and posting it on my Twitter. So I just hit this little export button here and select download. And I'm going to download that as portrait, which is your vertical style video. I can just hit this copy button here and this is my Twitter post ready to go. So I have done no creative work whatsoever. I'm not burning out my creativity because I just go here. I select media, select that file and then right click and hit paste. And then I've got my hashtags. It's got a little description about what the video is. And when that's ready to upload, I'm just going to hit post. Now, one thing I'm really interested in at the moment, I don't have very many followers on my Twitter. I haven't really been using Twitter over the years, but I've heard that creators are now being paid for their impressions on Twitter, which is now X since Elon Musk has purchased it. So just in the same way that people are making money from the TikTok creativity program and the YouTube ad revenue, now creators are sharing the ad revenue of the platform X. So I'm really interested if anyone else has got a large following on Twitter, whether you do get paid for this repurposed content or whether they are only looking for original content that you have created, because that can be an ongoing challenge when you are uploading to social media. I've got some of my main accounts around this studio hacks brand where I will only create the content myself by getting in front of a camera. I don't want to risk getting demonetized or getting copyright strikes. I have plenty of other accounts. I've got a couple of TikTok accounts well over the 300,000 follower that I've built up with only repurposed content. And I am making good revenue from those accounts using the TikTok creativity program and also through some brand deals and some other software companies that have been sponsoring me to make posts about their content. There are plenty of ways you can make money from repurposed content, but just bear in mind, you do have a lot higher chance of running into copyright issues if you're repurposing other people's content. So I've just posted that and that was a really low effort Twitter post that will help grow my following on Twitter. So just in the same way as I posted that to Twitter, you can grab any of these, post them as a YouTube short, as long as it's under a minute and or post it on TikTok. They can be anywhere up to 10 minutes on TikTok. So that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure if you want to try Munch for free, use the link in the description and the pinned comment. That's your way of saying thank you for this free content. Full disclosure, that is an affiliate link and you will be helping the Studio Hacks YouTube channel for all the free content that we give you. If you're watching this video during the month of November 2023, make sure to use the code BF30 and you will get 30% off any of the plans. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and review of the software platform Munch, which is the most advanced video repurposing tool that I've come across. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.